Hi, hello, good morning, ladies and germs. This is yet another edition of It's Broken, I don't wanna fix it, but I'm gonna do it anyways, and I don't really know how, but I gotta fix it today because it's a broken toilet. So, here we go. Uh, issue here is a classic uh, broken chain. It's essentially the handle is so rusted that the actual clip that holds onto the chain busted off. So, uh, rather than just obviously replacing the handle and the chain, we're just gonna replace pretty much everything in here because it's old innards and they need to be replaced. I went down to Lowe's and bought some goodies here that um, hopefully will work, I don't know. Hopefully this just isn't one of those things. It's supposed to be a simple process, but you know how it goes. All right, first obviously was we need to turn off the water and drain the toilet. Oh right, that's right, it doesn't work. That does not sound like the water's turned off. That, that sounds like the water turns off. Uh, There's about an inch of water, I gotta get all that out. Remember the other week when I said that I never have the right tools for anything? Well, I learned from that experience, but did nothing about that lesson. All right, the bedpan has been changed. I'm gonna be grippy. Don't spill anything, please, Keller. Thank you. Gonna open our toys here. All right, we got a dually, a flippy, a chain, and a thingy. My years in plumbing school are serving me correct. The dually goes on the flippy, and the holy moly makes it onto the pin. I could also just smash the whole thing with a hammer. And getting somewhere. Almost every time I've done something in this house with a screw, that ends up being the case because it's just so rusted and eroded and brittle. And this time I'm feeling just this. Oh, 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 okay. I see now, I see what I did wrong. Probably either side, I hope. So now we take our chain, and I know this all needs this all needs to be adjusted later, but I feel pretty confident in that mechanism. What's up, bud? Buddy? Yeah, buddy. How's the bathroom going? How's the bathroom going? Yeah. That's a good question. So I was correct that this needs to go on here. This is a really, really tight fit. Next in our bag of tricks, some of these. So this, I believe, is gonna go in here. That is right, that's correct. I guess that's why it has a circle. This is pretty genius engineering, you know? I gotta say, I gotta give it up to the inventors of toilets. Pretty, pretty fascinating little engineering situation that goes on with these things. All right, now what I'm, what I'm least confident in is this information about how to measure out the fill line. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna kinda do the dang thing and figure it out when I, once it's installed. Something's not, something doesn't smell right to me about this. Something just doesn't feel right. It feels like this. so easy. Just kind of waiting to see what happens here. That looks good. Water coming up there. And I guess we'll flush it. Try it again. There are a couple mechanics within here that I'm not fully understanding, but uh, it flushes. The bowl fills up roughly about the same time as the tank. This just seems like a giant waste of water to me, but um, I don't know. We'll see.